In this episode, I will continue the review of the awesome ID 3D monitor. By the way, I recommend this review to people that have already read all the written reviews, so have something based to go up on their conclusions. This will be like a more in-depth review. So, continue watching! Open your mind. Right, as you can see, this monitor looks very stylish. However, it does have some issues. So before we go into the actual uh, 3D aspect of the monitor, let's talk about the actual design. And of course this would not be a fair review if I also mentioned the things that needed improvement. Like, uh, but I will of course also mention that this is an awesome monitor. So let's get started. As you can see, this monitor is quite reflective. See? Of course, this can be easily explained by the fact that it actually has two panels and one is kind of invisible. And of course, because it's 3D, I can forgive this. Open your mind. Okay, now the viewing angle. Uh, okay, when in 2D mode, uh, it's actually quite good. Like you can view it from the sides, from the bottom, and there is no problem. Just when you view it from the top, uh, from the very high top, then uh, there is a slight problem with the colors, but uh, no, it's actually just quite bright. But a uh, few people actually play a game like this. So, uh, in that case it's okay actually. In 3D mode, the viewing, uh, is the viewing angle is actually quite uh, smaller. I tried to do an image of it, uh, but that is just a rough sketch to give you a general idea. Uh, it's based upon my experience and hopefully uh, this will make ho help you understand the actual viewing angle in 3D mode. Note that for this viewing angle, uh, many people can view the 3D image, which actually is quite awesome if you've ever had to contend with shutter glasses, because with shutter glasses, you have to buy two shutter glasses for two people to view it. Here, you are already provided with two glasses and one clip-on, and you can cheaply buy additional glasses if you, want, if you have many people, or if you break one of the uh, pairs of glasses. So, in that case, it's awesome. Also, for those of you that you had to use shutter glasses, do you remember that tingling feeling in your eyes when you focus on a 3D image? Well, here, that is gone. In fact, using the monitor is actually quite relaxing. Yes, it is relaxing. Okay? I know you don't believe me, but it is. You get no eye strain at all. Like, before I started using it, my eyes actually used to be quite uh, red and stuff. I said to have the red dots uh, in my uh, whites of my eyes. But now look, I think, uh, right. I, I think they are probably quite white now, which you can see. Right, sorry if that was a little gross, but that was just meant to give you an idea of how awesome this monitor is. Right, now let's take a look a little bit closer at the actual monitor design. Open your mind. Right, here we have the menu panel. As you can see, an LED light, light was supposed to be here, but I put it over it because it was just too bright and distracting. Here we have the menu. Right, if I click it here, you can see that actually you can just adjust the brightness. That's in fact the only option available. But that's actually quite easy to explain, because brightness in fact affects the amount of ghosting on the monitor. That is the only option. And here we have the auto button. And that button uh, is basically used if you have a VGA connection to the second uh, uh, output of your video card. I don't have it, so I've never had to use it. And here we have the IC3D logo, which instantly shows that it's an awesome monitor. And here we have the actual uh, monitor image in 3D mode. Right. And now I will attempt to, to show you how the ghost looks like from the glasses. This, of course, will be... I don't know what this will achieve, but hopefully you can see. Here we have like one image, and here we have the second one. I hope this didn't scare you. The actual 3D image actually looks quite cool. I have to tell you that it looks very nice. If you've never seen a 3D image, go to an IMAX or a real D theater or something like that. There you can enjoy the 3D experience and decide if you really want to buy a 3D dimensional monitor. Open your mind. 
Another thing worth mentioning is the excellent tech support and the ID3D community. They will actually really help you if you have any problem. Like, you know, many companies just hire people to just give you standard uh, responses, like, have you tried turning it off and on again? Like, here you will not get this. Here people will actually try to help you. In fact, uh, one of the um, senior people from that company, Vadim Asadov, regularly visits the forums and tries to help people out. And I think that's awesome, because the company really cares about uh, what uh, the community and uh, uh, thinks and uh, what problems they have. And in fact, they ask people for suggestions on what they should further improve in the drivers and in the monitor. I mean, how awesome is that? What other company asks people for suggestions, like uh, any regular people, not focus groups, anybody in the forums, like, hi, we were thinking about what we should improve. Can you please like uh, give us advice? I mean, uh, that's uh, respect to them. I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. On the next episode, we will find out if cats can be modified to produce stereoscopic images. Good night and continue watching. Open your mind. 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 Oh.